breaking. Um, so we talked about coasting, right? Tools coast. Now, there are a number of ways you can mitigate against this. Some equipment, like a bandsaw or a lathe, um, will have a mechanical brake built in, right? Like this bandsaw, right? You have a pedal that's actually electrically interlocked, so it turns off the machine when you press it. And um, you can hold that down and it will stop the machine. Um, definitely better than nothing. A few comments on it though, is if you think about the hierarchy of controls, that is a manual action at the end of an operation. And so that's an administrative control actually, because that's your requirement as a company to be, hey everybody, don't forget to you know, put your foot on the brake when you're done using the bandsaw or before you take a measurement on the lathe. Because you know what the most common brake for a lathe is? Someone's hand on the chuck. Um, and so uh, when we're thinking about these, definitely better than nothing, but we want to go into that kind of automated space. Also, I've heard some interesting things in my many days at customer sites. One is, um, this is, I've heard this now twice, is that operators say they, ne they go, no, we never use that um, foot brake. And I say, why? And they say, because that's for emergencies and we don't want to wear it out. That was news to me, right? But I've heard it twice now, so it's something that people believe. Um, the second is, oh, the uh, little brake pad wore out 30 years ago and we never replaced it. Right, that's especially true for lathes, you know, who that lasts so long nowadays. Um, some people get creative and they DIY solutions. I would not recommend that in a professional space. Um, and you can, of course, make a custom control cabinet that would do whatever you want, including breaking. Um, but when you're talking about a $80 grinder or a $1,000 bandsaw, no one's going to drop three or four thousand dollars on custom controls. They just don't do it. Um, and then there's uh, things like our product, which does breaking that we'll get into in a little bit as well. Um, and there's kind of the cross between friction breaking and then also electronic motor breaking, which we'll talk about.